Welcome back, I'm Herman Nerman, and today we're going to be fixing a few things with the text-based game in C++. So the first thing that we're going to fix is right where you can sell more gold than what you actually have. So if you go into one, then you go into negative. So we're going to fix that, and we're going to, we're going to make it so that you use supplies in the game. So, so we'll start by taking a quick look at the code. So here's the includes, here's the voids, the INTs, and there's the basics. So... We'll just quickly scroll through this a second. All right, and that's game over, die function in it. So that's about it. So, so far, not a very big game, but we're gonna make it a little bit bigger. The first thing that we're gonna fix is the negative gold stuff. Like that stuff, that little cheat, that's just not right. So what we're gonna wanna do, go to here is in the town function, in this condition here, the if user equal equals one in the town function, we're going to, add uh two two and um symbols and that basically says and so if user equals equals one and we'll say gold is greater than zero then you can sell one gold then you can sell gold we'll do the same thing with silver so if user equal equals two then we'll go spacebar two and symbols and then and then we'll say silver is greater than zero all right we'll, we'll give this a quick compile and run okay for some reason i put a one here instead of a semicolon don't remember why yeah that's that's weird okay all right so now we'll compile and run that and all right so c plus plus does take a little bit to compile so now we'll go to town and we'll try and sell something so let's try selling some gold all right it looks like it's working we'll try with some silver just to make the yeah so we're not we're not selling more than what we have so we're not going into debt here the next thing that we're going to want to do is we have the supplies function right now we're not using any of the supplies or anything so we want to change that we're going to add supplies so that while you're mining you're actually using supplies we'll just add supplies equals We'll say on easy difficulty, 50 and supplies. Yep. Equals, we'll say 25 on medium and supplies equals 20 if you're doing it on hard. All right, so now that we've got that, we want to see, we want to print that to the screen. So we'll go down to the, to the menu function. And then after money, we'll say, we'll take out that period and then we'll say, and spacebar supplies to more load less than symbols and then we'll type supply all right so then the next thing that we want to do is while we're mining we want to go into here and then go supplies lies minus equals one all right and then in the town we'll change this to three and then here we'll do a new line and then we'll say press two to buy supply all right and then we'll do new line so now if we'll change this to a three so then we'll add another condition here we'll go if user equal equals who can't forget those quotations if user equal equals two and then just to start off we'll say and money because we, we gotta spend something here is we'll say greater than one then then supplies plus equals We'll say, let's say five supplies for every dollar and money minus equals one. All right, we'll give that a quick compile and run. See, make sure that everything's working okay. Okay, so now we'll actually start with easy. So we've got zero, five money. We'll go to town quick second. We'll see if we can buy some supplies. So we press two here and okay, it works. We've just bought five supplies and spent one money. So now we're going to want to go to the mine and see if we can get some resources here. See if this works too. You found silver and it's working. All right. So it looks like everything's working so far. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, leave a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, you know where to leave them. And I'll be seeing you guys in the next video. Herman Nerman out.